Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of September 20th. This week brings some fun energy shifts. That's kind of how I like to describe them. So I think it's a good reminder, a good week to bring fun and joy into your life. I know 2020 has not been the most fortunate year. I know there's a lot of pain and suffering happening in the world, but we can still fill ourselves with joy and laughter and fun because by doing that we raise our vibration and I believe when we do that we bring healing to the world and you know even if it's just in small ways finding a small way to bring some sort of fun some sort of joy some sort of laughter into your week and maybe you're not if you're not there right maybe you're like oh fun joy laughter I'm just not in that headspace what about just trying something new? When you try something new, it awakens your it awakens your brain. It gets, you know, different pathways firing. It can also release endorphins. So maybe if you can't think of something fun, joyful, laughter and playful to kind of get into this week, uh, aim to just try something new because that can still wake up our brain, wake up our vibration. So thinking about ways that you can bring that into your week, even if it's just in a small way. So these kind of fun energy shifts, as I like to call them, are centering around the equinox. And this happens on the 22nd of September. We have the equinox, which brings us equal hours of night and day. So dark and light are in balance. And this traditionally is a time where the veil between dimensions is thin. So we can connect with higher beings, our higher self. We can connect with our spirit guides, our loved ones on the other side. It's a very magical, potent energy that we can work with. It's also a time of year when nature speaks to us. So if you're looking for guidance, ask for signs. Ask for signs, especially from nature, from Mother Earth, from the world around you, because you're likely to see uh, you know, a response. You're likely to see the universe responding to your request and delivering messages and signs, particularly on this equinox day. I have an equinox ritual. If you want to try that, I'll put a link in the description box below. You can also find it on foreverconscious.com. Um, give it a try and, you know, see if you can also weave in that sort of joy, uh, fun exercise that you're going to try and do this week. See if you can weave that in as well or not. You don't have to, but just an idea to, you know, really utilize those beautiful energies. Also on the equinox, we enter Libra season. So we're moving out of earthy Virgo into the air sign of Libra. And Libra is all about balance. It's represented by the scales. And this is about finding balance, especially on a mental level, because Libra is an air sign. So finding balance on a mental level is sort of about acknowledging the thoughts of the past, but then leaving space for new thoughts, new ideas to enter. So this week, maybe think about the thoughts that you're keeping that are repeating in your mind. And are they old and outdated or do they serve a purpose still? And you know, if they are old and outdated, maybe clearing them and creating some space for some new ideas and new inspirations to come through. And uh, also, just finding stillness as well, spending time in meditation or whatever it is that you love to do that helps you create a very still, calm and balanced mind that's not reactive, that's not needing to react or holding on or attaching to things or constantly whirring around. Trying to find that state of stillness can also help achieve balance in the mind. And this is going to become more and more important as we move through Libra season because this week we have on the 24th Mercury entering its shadow phase. So a shadow phase happens right before a planet is about to go retrograde. So Mercury will enter its shadow phase, it will start slowing down 
preparing to go retrograde later on in October. So when a planet enters shadow phase, it's very, very mild energy. We're not going to start really noticing too much Mercury retrograde energy, but it will slowly, very, very slowly start building until we get to October when Mercury will go retro. So that's what we're going to start feeling this week at the end of the week. Um, so that means if Mercury is going retrograde in a couple of weeks, uh, early October, that means we're going to have Mars and Mercury in retrograde at the same time. So definitely finding that balance and stillness and equilibrium of mind is definitely going to come in handy and serve you well as we go through these uh, this time of you know both of these very pivotal planets being in retrograde. I'll talk more about that energy. I know it sounds a little bit alarming. Oh my God, both Mars and Mercury in retrograde. Um, yes, you know, it's definitely an interesting combination and it's pretty rare as well. But I actually feel and the information that I've received around these alignments happening simultaneously is that it's really going to be a time of heightened intuition and heightened inner knowing and a time for us to really connect with uh, uh, wisdom and inner voice and all of that. So I'll talk more about that as we get closer to it. But don't, I know it's, oh my God, Mercury and Mars in retrograde. It's definitely going to be interesting, but I do feel there are always harmonious ways to work with this energy. And then also as we get to the end of the week, we are going to start feeling the building of the Mars Saturn square. So I will talk more about this next week, but I just want to let you know it's coming. If you remember, I spoke about this earlier. We have three of them coming, three Mars Saturn squares. This is the second one, and we're going to start feeling it by the end of the week. It will be very active as we uh, reach that last week of September. The Mars Saturn square this is an opportunity for, this is a time where we may feel a little bit of push and pull. This push and pull might manifest in our motivation, in our feeling of um, energy, in our energy level. We might start feeling a little run down or we might start feeling a little bit of motivation to get some, you know, things done. It can affect our energy levels. So just something to be mindful of if you start feeling that towards the end of the week. It's a good time to sort of check in, and this is this is sort of a general rule for Mars retrograde, because um, Mars is in retrograde. It's making this square alignment with uh, Saturn, which is about to go direct on the 28th. But um, it's a, always a good general rule when Mars is in retrograde to question your goals, to question your dreams, to question what your what is behind your ambition what is fueling your motivation so this question these questions might come up as we get this mars saturn alignment uh, building for the second time all right so i think that's enough to leave you with for this week this week think about finding some fun and joy and laughter in your life look for blessings in disguise that was a channeled message for you guys actually look for blessings in disguise use this beautiful equinox energy you have the power you have the intuition you have the connection with your higher self with the divine with the universe whatever you want to call it use it use it especially on days like this where there's a gateway open for you spend time journaling meditating ask for signs and you will receive them. All right, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.